Hey everyone, Soundwave8084 here with the Transformer Siege review. In this review, we'll be taking a look at Deluxe Class Decepticon Spinister. Now the instructions, I guess he's really trying to deceive you. And he's like, no, no, I'm an Autobot. Yeah. The instructions have an Autobot logo, but he is, of course, a Decepticon. Now Spinister was originally a 1988 Decepticon Target Master. Of course, in here, he does not come with any Target Masters, or as they are now called, Battle Masters. But, he does have his members already out into the public. We'll take a look at them in a moment. First, let's just take a look at the figure. Hello! Okay. Going crazy with the hands. Alright, so, Spinister. Excellent, excellent looking figure. I never had G1 Spinister, but this figure is very, very nice. Uh, it has the 80s color scheme going on here. I really do like it. Uh, so, on comment on some pictures i posted on instagram he's rocking the bell bottoms i think his name is cheese head or cheese something but yeah head sculpt on this guy is very nice mine comes with battle damage that's actually battle damage he's got a nick in his helicopter blade uh i'm not too fussed about it uh i don't like it but i guess it adds to the battle damage look that's up here he's got some here and a little bit I guess it's there. I guess just there in his upper thighs. I thought he had some down here on the glass, but he does not. But yeah, so he's got some real damage there on the blades. Comes with two double barrel rifles, weapons, pew pew pew, and pew pew pew. And yes, they do support blast effects. We'll just show that off. Now they also have lots of pegs. There's pegs on this side. And I peg on the underside, and I peg this way, so you can actually combine the guns. You can do lots of you know, little things with them here. You can always come back around and make them double barrel the hand. So there's just things you can do there with this weapon. One is purple, it matches the purple that's on the figure. The other is more this, uh, I guess, tealish blue. It's, uh, it's about a match right here for the upper thigh. Overall articulations guy, again, he has got double jointed elbows, pins on both sides. So he got a bend here, and you get a bend there, and that is for transformation. So he gets a full bend. He's got the, you know, the shoulders up to here. You can go all the way around. He's got a waist swivel. Got a tight waist swivel. Upper thigh rotation. Also, you can use that for transformation. Deep knee bends. And he's got ankle tilts. Either side. And he's got a little toe tilt and go front and back. So that is a spin. Oh, he also has uh, wrist swivels. So, yeah. 360 of the figure. You get an overall look of him. Oh, you gotta close that down. And he's got some nice sculpted in details here. Here, panel copy is, is really good. There's a few spots maybe it could be a little bit better. The only thing is, he's got like a little blotch in his eye up there. and but Otherwise, it's all applied very nice. With scale comparisons. He is a member. He is a deluxe class. We'll show him off with Voyager class 8 face. And here he is with Wave Mate Crosshairs. He's also a deluxe. And show him off with another deluxe figure. Here is Deluxe Prowl. So you can check out the scale going on here. Now, if you bought the Decepticon Phantom Strike Squadron pack off Amazon with Skywarp in it, now you have one of his Target Masters. You would got this guy here. They call him Shroot. He is the updated version of Hair Splitter, who was one of Spinister's Target Masters. Also, if you've got the newly released Battle Master Singe, you have his other target master. That target master was, he kept his name. He was called Singe back in 1988. So these two guys here become his target master. So we'll just transform them and put them in his hands. And there he is holding his target masters, Singe and Shroot, aka Hair Splitter. So now you have a complete Sinister. Let's get the transformation.
Okay, starting out, we're going to start with the upper body here. You can see he's got these little tabs up here on his shoulders, slots down here on his wrists. This is where the double jointed elbow comes in. You just want to come and roll these all the way up, and then this will just tab together. Come around to his back, untab this from his back, grab this back piece here, and we're going to pull his insides out. You see that it kind of rotates his torso around. Head comes up over here. Tab here. We'll just lock into this. Next thing we'll do is just take this. There's two tabs here. Two slots here. This will all just fold up. And then tab together. Now we'll be working on the legs. Here he has the two cockpits. Now in the original G1 toy, the one cockpit, you know, gave both his legs as his legs were just molded together. Nowadays, we get the, you know, the fortune of having his legs come like this. So to make it look right, they made an extra cockpit piece that is just going to have to fold under the body. So we're going to do two of them. Let's get started. We can tell which one is the real cockpit because it has the landing gear on the bottom. So this cockpit here is going to end up tabbing up underneath his body. So we're going to work on that one first. Spread his legs apart. Got this little panel piece here. Open it up. Come down to his foot. Fold this in this way. Rotate it on this little joint here to the side. Then it's going to rotate the whole foot down and around there's this little piece here it's more like, like a tab slot right into this snap it together there you go next thing hey now turn around face this way so turn them at the thigh swivel fold this leg onto itself close this panel down locks it in place with the other leg Thigh swivel him inward. Open up this back panel piece. Tab here in the back of his, of his foot. Tabs right in that slot. Pull it up. Tab it in. Swivel his foot to the side. Fold his cockpit piece up. Tab this back in. You want to angle him at the waist where it one cockpit with the landing gear is facing to the front of the helicopter. The other one is to the back. There's these two tabs back here that will tab in in here. Mine does not hold very well, but just line this up. Tab it in. Best you can. This piece here will come up. Walk into the front. Now you have these two feet. You want to just, um, swivel them to the sides. A little tab here will lock in right there. And same here, tab here, slot there, lock in. Now on his arms, there's these little slits right here. that will go over these little tabs on each side. And then there's a tab up here, lock in right there. So we'll just want to line all that up. And tab it in. Same on the other side. And then tab it in. Now come to his blades and just straighten them out. And voila, you are done. If you want to, pull his landing gear down. And there is Siege Spinister in his helicopter mode. Now you can take the guns he came with. And they can now tap on the under ports here. Or you can use his Target Masters, whichever one you want to do. If you have the Target Masters, Battle Masters. And there is Siege Spinister. Alright, with well, Siege Spinister in his helicopter mode, we're just going to do some quick comparisons in size. This is Blue Streak. And here is Impactor. All three Deluxe Flash Transformers. Now, in his helicopter mode, he looks really good. I do like the colors. There's lots of different go things going on. We got this kind of bluish color here. We got a pink here, a pinkish purple here gray on the side where the hands are silver trim you have these grayish blades and they do all spin freely and well of course you got the extra paint here on the sides cockpit is a translucent blue plastic this does not spin like an actual wheel 
but it is nice. My only complaint here is this bottom part here. Not want to tab and stay tab. So overall, a nice looking helicopter mode. No complaints from me. Never had G1 Sinister, but this one surely is killing it. Looks nice. Another comparison here. Here is Red Wing with the Spinister. He's a Voyager class. He's deluxe. And in vehicle mode, they're about the same size and length. Uh, he's a little bit wider, but he is, of course, a bigger transformer. He is more raw, more bulky, but they're, they look... And they scale well together for both being aerial vehicles. So, final thoughts on Siege Spinister. An excellent looking figure. Excellent articulation. Transformation is actually pretty easy. Very simple, especially when you're going back to robot mode. Everything just flows really nice. Uh, the only trouble really getting him into helicopter mode is just getting his uh, the little legs transformed and lined up correctly. And just the tabs to hold. The only, Like I said, the only negatives on my figure is just that tabbing in the cockpit on the undercarriage of the helicopter doesn't really want to tab well and i do have some real life battle damage going on where the mine came with this little chip in his blade which honestly is not that big a deal there but it's something i, I you know it, it is disappointing but it's not like a big deal breaker because it fits with the battle damage you're going for on these figures the paint is excellent on my copy except for the little smudge on his eye uh, overall like i said articulation is fine he looks good with all the other decepticons and if you have the other uh, sets, if you have Singe and you have the Skywarp set, you have his Target Masters. Overall, a recommended purchase if you're into Decepticons. And gathering up more Decepticons is always a good thing. Anyway, thanks for watching this video. If you liked anything you saw, don't forget to click subscribe, hit the like button, and share. Thanks for watching. Until the next one. Peace out.